Hey guys, Dr. Sean here with The Active Life. I'm uh, gonna give you a brute tip for the day. Uh, a great thing that we see happening in the gym all the time that we're able to overcome is the person who comes to us and says, hey man, I can deadlift 500 pounds, but 225 and Diane kills me. My back just blows up. I start to feel everything really tighten up. Everything feels like it's getting hypertonic and, and all of a sudden I'm just like, I'm the guy who's limping around the gym and I can't go back to that barbell. So. We want to talk to you about why that's happening, what you guys can start doing to, to mitigate that. Um, first things first, a lot of people walk into a gym, especially a CrossFit gym, and look at the guy in the gym or the girl in the gym who's lifting the most weights and say, that's my target, I want to beat that person. Perfectly understandable, you're competitive people, and that's one of the reasons that we enjoy working with you. What happens is this, we're looking at a graph here where strength and stamina are on opposite axes. So somebody who can lift a lot of weight one or two times has a pyramid that looks something like that, right? And that's fine for one or two reps. If you keep on building that pyramid up, it becomes more and more inherently unstable because the base stays the same width. You guys understand that, right? A wide base and a, the base is staying the same. It's not widening, it's staying right here. From here to here is your base, no matter what, we just keep going higher and higher and higher, eventually that becomes unstable. What also happens with this is that as the workout goes on, you're unable to start to widen this and bring the top down. You've only worked on the high pyramid. You haven't worked on the stamina pyramid. Being able to grab 60% of this one rep max and hit it for an easy 20 reps. And what we find is that when people start to look at their workouts and say, okay, I have a 500 pound deadlift. Well, what can you do for 20? I don't know, that would suck though. Well, you should start finding out, right? Because a workout like Diane, for example, is 21, 15, nine. And we constantly do that kind of volume in a workout where we're expected to move fast, 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 fast. But it's very uncommon for people to start saying, you know what, I'm gonna grab a lightweight and do sets of 20, 30 reps at a time. And, and I'm gonna fry out at the high end of my stamina base. And the problem with that becomes that when you see it in the Metcon, not only haven't you done it, but now you can't breathe. So you're trying to sit back on, well, I have this high top end strength. Yeah, but your stamina is, down over here and that stinks. So you're gonna flame out. So what I'm saying to you is that if your back blows out on a workout, it's light, like 225 pound deadlifts for 21, 15, nine, as compared to a really high one rep max, like 500, 600 pounds on a deadlift, the problem isn't that you can't manage volume, it's that you don't have the stamina at moderate weight, right? You need to stop working on the really high end stuff and start adding in some low intensity, high volume work so that you can better manage a workout like Diane.